Let's find the best bet in the Week 10 matchup between the Jacksonville Jaguars and the Minnesota Vikings. A lot of people laughed at the Jags being my top play last week, but we did cash them. Do we ride with them again this week? We'll dive into it here in just a bit. I am Ronald Cabang from wagertalk.com and themoneyballer.com. We are now up in over 103 units since September 1st. Currently the number one NFL handicapper at Wager Talk as well. Already up over a 51 units on the season, 67% win percentage, 38, 19, and 2 so far in the regular season. And Wager Talk currently has a deal going on where you can get the rest of my NFL season for just $299, which is $90 off the regular price. The deal does include 5% plays, which I have one for this weekend. And my 5% plays in 2024, 15 and 2. That's nearly 90% hit rate. On 5% plays in 2024, the best win percentage and ROI over at WagerTalk. Uh, so check my capper page at wt.buzz backslash rc for that deal and other premium picks and packages, as well as several free plays that are already up. You can see uh, the links down there on the bottom scrolling. Now let's dive into this matchup between the Vikings and the Jags. Uh, one of the bigger factors, obviously, in this game with the line moving uh, towards the Vikings and the total coming down is the uncertainty of Trevor Lawrence and I think the reports that I'm seeing is, you know, the, the, with the shoulder injury, it's likely he's not going to play. But even if he does suit up, uh, he's not going to be 100% effective, obviously. And we've seen how much Lawrence has struggled when trying to play through injuries. That that's going to be a tough task here, uh, especially against an aggressive defense like Minnesota. The Jags are already dealing with um, a banged up offensive line. They traded away Cam Robinson to the Vikings. Uh, so, like, as far as, like, starting offensive linemen, they're missing three uh, key blockers there. Uh, this is going to make it tougher to, for, for a backup quarterback, if if Lawrence doesn't play, a backup quarterback to find time um, against this, uh, you know, relentless pass rush that the, the Vikings have. So that leads me to Daniel uh, Daniel Hunter. Uh, he should be able to, to attack the offensive line, get to the quarterback, regardless of whether it's uh, Lawrence or not. Um, that's going to make it really hard for – the Jags to get into good position uh, and they already struggle on third down conversion rate. I think they're actually 30th in the league in third down conversion rate. So um, that one's, that's going to be really tough for them to, to move the chains in this game. Vikings. I know there, there could be a letdown spot here. Obviously they're coming off of that, um, you know, that win on national TV. Uh, but to me, it just seems like the Jags uh, offensive line and the quarterback situation, not a great spot for them. Um, I think the Vikings will be a heavy public play, uh, but I think it's for good reason. Uh, I talked about their, um, you know, Cam Robinson being traded to Minnesota. That really has strengthened their offensive line. It's given Darnold uh, extra time in the pocket, better protection. Now he's able to get to Justin Jefferson even easier. Uh, Aaron Jones is is effective as well on um, on the run and the pass. Uh, for, so for me, a lot of the things pointing towards the Vikings side. Obviously, the line has shifted. I wish I could get there. I could have gotten there with the minus three and a half. Um, I would still look towards the Viking side, but I can't get there with, you know, the worst of the number, right? Um, one thing that you could probably probably do to pivot, uh, I think they might be correlated, but it, it could be the Jags offense, uh, you know, fading the Jags offense, maybe a, a team total under um, on the Jags side. Uh, under 17 and a half is the number that I'm seeing on the the wager talk live odd screen page and i talked about their com third down conversion rate being very uh terrible 30th in the in the league right now now they don't they already uh, struggle with first downs only uh 18 sorry 24th in the league in number of first downs per game so a lot of things pointing towards the jags really struggling offensively with or without lawrence um just focusing in on what they can uh what they what they're going to struggle in so Avoid the spread, avoid the full game total just in case, you know, Minnesota look, looks ahead or struggles offensively. Really just key in on the struggles of the Jags side. All right, so that's the way that I would look. Jags team total under at the current number. Um, what are your thoughts on this game? Do you agree? Do you disagree? Make sure to leave a comment uh, after the video drops. I'd love to hear your angles. I'll try to respond if I can. Uh, also, if you enjoy the break, this breakdown, like, like and subscribe to the channel. Uh, make sure you click the notification button as well because there are other strong wager talk handicappers doing other breakdowns in other sports as well. Uh, once again, head over to wt.buzz backslash rc for free and premium picks and packages. Make sure you utilize the NFL package. Really, um, the NFL really 
uh, great for me this year. And I, I think that's going to continue with my process that I've, um, you know, shifted over to this year. Um, and for your personal betting needs, head over to themoneyballer.com. They have all the stats, trends, and insights you need to make informed betting decisions. Uh, you can use promo code RC50 to get 50% off your first billing cycle. Themoneyballer.com is the main source for my handicapping uh, process. It's a big reason why I was number one in the WNBA, currently number one in the NFL, and hopefully by the end of the season, number one in the NBA. Uh, so check it out, themoneyballer.com. And uh, this is the end of the video, guys. Whether you fade or follow, it is on you to make that call. Good luck with all your action. Till next time, peace.